Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am going to be doing your reading for December 4th through December 10th. This is for the sign of Taurus, and this is a weekly love reading. Um, this may not resonate for you because it's not a uh, private reading. This is for a general audience. I will uh, focus the camera in once I get the cards laid out. This is for the sign of Taurus. And it is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This reading is from Soul Source Tarot. It should not be on anybody else's channel. So the basis of the reading is the Five of Pentacles reversed. So there's some some kind of security issues, okay? Some kind of security. Maybe you're starting to feel more secure this week because this is in the reverse position and the Eight of Swords is, is right next to it, but that is reversed as well. There could be, you know, some kind of... Um, feeling free, feeling really good about something. Maybe you're no longer stuck, you're feeling better. Um, we do have this Ten of Cups reversed, so maybe somebody is, you know, there's a renewal of a relationship, because that's a relationship. There could be a renewal, a reconciliation, um, If and there's, there could be a lot of excitement this week. We definitely have uh, some love coming in if you're single. If you're single, you could there could be a new partnership on the horizon, something that's very, very exciting. It feels like um, there definitely could be a reconciliation, maybe with somebody from your past, okay? Um, that could certainly be the case. It feels like maybe some kind of truth has come out, and maybe there's no more secrets, it, because, it, I mean, it feels like things are being looked at from another perspective and one cycle has ended so uh, something a cycle has ended and a new one is beginning and I think this cycle probably had to do with um, secrets okay I think some secrets have been revealed maybe somebody has come to their senses perhaps and um, spoken up Okay, so some something some words have been said, and I think that has provided some from some freedom for somebody. Um, I feel like the time is now; things are changing for you, uh, where uh, things may have felt more um, difficult. The peace could be coming back to your life. Um, And I feel like it's just an easy week. It's a week of ease and excitement. Like, I, for many of you, a new partner is coming into your life or has shown up and it's quite exciting and it could lead to love and it could be somebody that you know from your past. doesn't mean that you dated them. You could have. could be somebody you knew a long time ago or it could be a reconciliation or a resurgence in a relationship if you are coupled, you know, things could be more peaceful this week, more secure, more stable, more at ease. It just looks really good where... There's, instead of the devil whispering, it's the angel, okay, because the devil's reversed. Instead of the devil trying to come in and, and mess things up, it looks like this week is a, a good positive week. That's what it looks like to me. I'm going to shuffle the next deck. Um, so I want to let you know who we have here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have um, Capricorn, and we have Gemini. Uh, that, and we have Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Again, and we have Pisces. So I just feel like some kind of truth has come out. Somebody has spoken up and they're feeling quite quite good. You know, they, they took some action and I think there's some freedom here. And there definitely could be 
a reconciliation. I mean, that's what I see. And it's easy. It's like a, there's a lot of things are happening very easily. You know, it's just without a lot of work. Okay, so here we, we do have you here, and I feel like there's been an awakening. There's been, some, the secret has come out. Some kind of secret has come out that maybe, maybe there's been some forgiveness, or there's been some kind of enlightenment that has just changed everything. Something has happened where the path has now changed, okay? There's been a change, and I think there's been some forgiveness here. Somebody has decided they've really taken the time to think and they've had like a wake-up call okay somebody has been like you know what it's time for a change because I feel like something has ended that needed to end that brings about something much better um, there's no no longer feeling like a victim it's like owning up owning up to whatever this was somebody has decided to speak the truth and own up to whatever they've done and it just is bringing a lot of peace and freedom back to their lives. And I'm not sure if that's you or somebody else, but it just feels like it's a very, very good, um, peaceful week, you know? It really is. It's like things are just going very, very well. I think there's forgiveness here. So I think that many of you are probably forgiving somebody for their past, for, for whatever they've done in the past. And because you're doing that, it's it's bringing personal freedom, all right? And it, it's not like somebody didn't work hard on it because somebody has taken the time to refocus and really open up their eyes. Um, and when they did that, they let go of something that was they didn't need anymore when they decided to forgive whatever this is. It's like they replaced the fear. There's no more fear. It's like, I'm, I'm not going to fear this anymore. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to have faith. And we can only go up from here. I think that there's a lot of positive thinking in your week. It looks very positive to me. It does. Now this is a love reading. It's just, it's just a lack of... Uh, difficulties this is a week of peace and harmony and communication and somebody is opening their eyes i think there's forgiveness and just wanting to get along let's let's do this let's start over you know um that's what it looks like to me that is exactly what it looks like to me Wow. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's what I think is happening. I think many of you are had like this epiphany. You took some time to reflect. You thought about it and you thought, you know, I'm going to work on this. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to work on this. There's too much to let this go. All right. And because you do that, it brings about a freedom, uh, brings about your own personal freedom. You know what? I'm not going to worry about where I was or what has happened. We're just going to we're going to move forward. There's forward movement here. And I see, I see happiness. And here we have this flirt card. And it doesn't really have to be flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And I think that's what's going on because it's such a good feeling week. Okay? It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's what's happening. I think there's no more feeling like... I'm going to live in the past and the past hurt. It's like I'm ready to be loved and I'm going to offer love. And I think this is a week of feeling very peaceful, feeling ready, feeling open, talking, communicating, letting go, in the pa letting go of the past, living in the now and moving forward. All right. I think that somebody is, I think there's a reconciliation or a resurgence of a relationship. If not, Somebody new could certainly be coming into your life because we do have the lover's card, all right? There is a strong bond between you and another person, and I think that this week 
it is about working on it, working on the bond. Okay, letting go of insecurities, letting go of instabilities, letting go of conflicts. Okay, that's what I see. I see it's just like letting go of the past and living in the now. Moving forward and with happiness. You know, I haven't used these cards in a while, so I'm going to do it. These are my, these are just little, um... They're called Whispering Woods. They're enchanting secrets from the forest, okay? So we're just going to skip one of these and see what comes up. Ooh. Interesting. This makes a lot of sense. Embrace in the dewdrops of life before they disappear with the morning sun. Time. Living in the now. That's what's going on this week. And I think that you're feeling, bringing, this. it's a very peaceful week. So Taurus, December 4th through December 10th, this is what I have for you for love. I feel like many of you are doing all that you need to do to give your relationship a chance. And that's what I have. Talk to you later.